Hey guys, Target Cyclone FPV, and today is July. Oh my God, I'm lost. July 6th, 2022. We are now two days uh, out of these fireworks going off like crazy around here, and it's time to get back to work. I've uh, got some cool things coming up, uh, but let's get started. I've got a HDLRC Win 5 that I need to get ready for a customer of ours, a very good customer of ours. So Brian, this is yours, and I'm going to go ahead and get this going right now. I've already downgraded the RXSR receiver that's going in it, so all I'm going to do now, okay, I probably should have had a razor blade for that. All I'm going to do now is install the RXSR and get this out to Brian today. So let me, you know, you think I have a trash can here, but I don't. So let me get a trash can. Hold on a second. Gosh, I'll just trash can, and I don't have a trash bag for them. All right, coming right back, coming right back. Here we go. Okay, so here we go. Let's open this up. Let's get the soldering machine on. There we go. I think we're good now. Oh my God, come on already. Doesn't want to open. Come on. There you go. Okay. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous drone. Excited he's going to have some fun with this one, for sure. All right, so let's see what we got. We're going to go ahead and take the uh, top plate off for the time being. It's not necessary to do that, but I want to be able to tuck this wire in properly. We are going to an RXSR, so one of the things that's important to note is that the RXSR... Uh, this plug right here will not plug into the RXSR properly. Uh, it's not the right plug that's on here, but it is still cool that HDLRC does solder this wire on. Now, here's the RXSR, okay, that has been downgraded. Did I already pull the, did I already pull it out? Hmm, you know what? It looks like I put it down somewhere, but it's not here. We'll grab another one. I downgraded quite a few of them, so. Let me see what I got. <laughs> oh, yeah, it fell out of that, sorry. Okay, so here's downgraded RXSR. And unfortunately, the way we need this to fit, this is the plug we're gonna have to use, right here. There we go. One of the common mistakes people make here is they fixate it on the yellow wire because usually the yellow would be for the S-Bus, but in this case, that's not the case. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to be using black, red, and green only for this, okay? The green would represent the S-Bus, uh, so let's do that. The yellow represents the S-Port, okay? So let's do this here. Now, if I could, I would love to be able to use this plug, but even though even the pins are too small to swap them out. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and let's see if we can remove carefully. No, not that one, this one. What we're going to do is we're just going to take the VTX off so I can see the pads clearly, desolder the old wires, solder the new wires on, put the VTX back on, and get this sucker out the door and ready to fly at its new home. Okay, there we go, three and four. All right, there we go. Now, if I can just keep those screws from falling all the way out, I'll be very happy. Let's just lay this VTX, oh, we can just move it to the side for now, I guess. Just leave it like right there, okay? All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the wires that are on here. So you have ground, which is here, okay? You have your five volt, which is here, and you have, gosh darn it, stay still, please. I do not wanna unplug the VTX, I just want it to sit right there. Okay, perfect. And you have your S bus, all right? So we're gonna take these out. We're going to eventually convince this thing to sit still. Okay, now what we want to do is we're going to bring in the correct plug, but we are going to remove uh, these two cables here that we do not need and we don't want to leave them loose. So we're going to pull up the tabs on the white cable. Let me kind of get this in there properly. 
usually use an X-Acto knife, but let me see, there's one, and then we're gonna pull up cable number three, which is gonna be right here, and we're gonna remove that. Now, we're gonna save the cables though. If the customer wants to add them back, he can. And as far as this receiver goes, I'm just gonna give it a little bit of length here. Uh, you know what, let me just, you see, I don't wanna do this, because I may just go ahead and leave the wire like it is. Not too much excess wire here, so. Let me just do that and then I'll just bunch it up. Won't make a difference here at this point. So let's go ahead and take this, because if the customer ever wants to move it, he can. Let's go ahead and do the five volt. There we go. Go ahead and do the S bus. There we go. And let's do the ground. And there we go. Okay, all three are on, everything looks good. Yep, looks perfect. So, now we'll go ahead and bring our VTX back. Place it on those screws, push that one screw back up that is being pushed down. And let's fasten this back. Let's put these on so the screws don't fall out. One, two, three, and four. All right, now, HDLRC, it's very easy to tell with their stuff. What they do is they usually will put these locking nuts onto where they're flush, and that's it. So that's your guide right there. As soon as you see it flush, just stop, stop tightening it because they've already done this, and it works well. So use that as your guide. Do not over-tighten these. Do not bring the boards lower than they need to be. Eventually, you could accidentally ground the board out if it touches something below it. So use that as your guide and just leave them flush, okay? Make sure to pay attention to that when you're taking these apart. It's a good rule of thumb. If you follow the manufacturer's steps, you really can't go wrong. If you follow your own, then God help you. All right, so that's all done. Now, let's see what we wanna do here. We've got a little bit of excess wire, but I'm not too worried about that. I wanna see how we're gonna lay this out. All right, so there's our receiver. We know it's going to come back like this. You know, this is a bottom mount, so let me see if I want to go to the top with this. See if I can leave it to where the customer can bind it as well. That would be ideal. And get to the bind button. And if I could do that, that would be like right about. Actually, I don't think it's going to be possible. So, customer will most likely have to take the plate off to get to the bind button, or we can mount the receiver. Uh, somewhere else, but for right now, here's what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm gonna wind this wire up, get some double sided tape. Place it on the bottom here. I'm not really sure how long I want it to be. Let me grab some scissors. Well, just 
just going to twist this up a little bit. Go right back here. Just like that. Put this on. front plate put on. There we go. Whoops, hold on. My bad. Let me turn that over. I don't know why I looked at it and then I turned it over the other way. It needs to go here since these are <coughs> flush mount screws, countersunk screws. There we go. There's one. There's two. Now let's get the antennas put down. There's a feature. There we go. Now we'll go ahead and shrink these. Perfect. And that is all she wrote. The sucker's good to go. I'll power it up. But you know what? The VTX is going to uh, interfere with our camera signal here. So I will power this up after. Uh, but uh, for our own purposes, this is done. Everything looks great. So Brian, I will tell you, man, thanks for your business. Enjoy. Have fun. I'm going to make sure that everything's going well for you. If you have any questions, you know how to hit me up. Everybody else, listen, if you would please subscribe to our channel. Uh, we are now into the month of July, and this is when we start bringing in all our new stuff. So we've got a lot of inventory coming in, uh, and uh, we're getting ready to do some uh, things on the property here with some training and stuff. So it's going to be pretty exciting. Anyways, please subscribe to the channel. Let me know if you need anything, and uh, we appreciate your support. Guys, God bless. Be safe, and we'll talk to you soon. Peace.